Showdown State. So Orlando and Miami couldn't be more different in terms of regions, cultures, playstyles. And of course, we're going to see right now these two playstyles clashing as Dyer plays Wolf in game one against Myron's well-known Olimar. To my knowledge, I believe CFL without a strong Olimar and South Florida without a strong Wolf. We're going to see a lot of interesting layers. Yeah. Southwest Florida, excuse me. It is true. There is South Florida, there is Southwest Florida. Very, very different, but the for posterity's sake. Posterity's sake. All right. And right now, Dyer, well, using very, very good to that Nair to get in. It's one of Wolf's best approaching actual moves because it goes onto the shield. It's almost safe in most cases, especially if you land behind it. A unique layer to this matchup is going to be Wolf's Reflector, though. Oh, Myron yeah. has to play around that very carefully. I, I, I imagine Wolf's been using Blaster a lot, too, to sort of get through or fight, like, clank with those Pikmin. Yeah, Pikmin with usually a single percent health. Uh, Blaster going to be able to take them out pretty quickly. So Myron going to have to re oh. tread through his lineup. And I get reminded every single time of just how light Olimar is. As a Puff mainer, I can relate pretty, pretty hard. You need to be really, really careful. And if it's anyone who has very unexpected, extremely powerful moves for no reason, it's Wolf. I've seen yeah. down smash kill at 40%. I've seen forward tilts kill just like that. The long lasting Nair allowing. A oh my god, the desync bro. Oh my gosh, shield pressure again. But it seems that every time Myron hits the shield with that up smash Pikmin, he wants to either spot dodge and wait for a charge one, or just go for another grab instead. Dyer a couple times now with that really high full hop there, getting away from that shield pressure though. Right. Blast Myron's gonna play it safe. He's down a stock right now, so he wants at least to get a little more Pikmin damage before risking another smash attack move. Good Wolf. downer at 118 for Wolf. There he goes, gets the purple. That's he only has yellow right now. Not gonna really be able to do him too many favors. Dyer running back to center. Blanking on shield once again. The man's got a game plan. We've seen this in the first set he played against Goblin, and now against Dyer, just tacking on, or excuse me, against, uh, uh, my, course, yes. yeah. CF, uh, CFL doesn't have too many Almar players. In fact, I'm not sure if we have a single top Almar player there in the region. None of, none of Myron's caliber, for sure. But it seems that Dyer has been either studying the matchup or is pretty well aware of it. Of course, with online play being a huge thing, there's a lot of practice you can get. Oh, he tried to push on the shield once again, but it seems Dyer was aware. Very, very good spacing. That's the beauty of Wolf. Incredibly strong combos, but also incredibly safe neutral play. And we see it once again, these dash attacks being able to run through the shield, uh, if shielded, but just connecting and getting those early, early stocks sometimes. Myron sitting at 128%. Has to be incredibly careful playing around Wolf right now. He's trying to land Nairs right here, but I think Myron, knowing that's a high percent, is going to either stay low or stay near the ledge at all times. Okay, throwing. Ooh, 47% already on Dyer, but he needs a little more right here. 157. And it, it, it's, it's unfortunate dying there because you have that full raise and you want to take advantage of it as much as you can. But Wolf's aerials come out so quickly. And then we see that down throw dash back into the regrab. Ow. Easy percent. Four hit combo, nice from Dyer. He's wa he wants right now Myron to approach him. There's no reason to contest an Almar that isn't approaching. Oh, snapping to the ledge. That's but Myron finding that down smash. Of course. Wolf's recovery is definitely his weak point. You can't really clash with it. You can actually two-frame it if you have a down smash that's appropriate. And who else but Olimar, who has two Pikmin, who are willing to die for the cause. These they're all kamikaze Pikmin, pretty much. And that's the beauty of having the yellow on that side right there. It's, it's, going, it's going to go actually across the uh, edge of the platform and sometimes even below. So it's able to really intercept Wolf's upbeat. But Dyer seems pretty comfortable here. He knows now double purple. That's going to hurt your shield. It's going to hurt your morale. Look at him. He just chills on that platform. So patient, so confident. I'm waiting patiently here. His last stock. 105 for Myron. You see him put his back to him. Going for that backer. So strong. Yep. I, I believe Wolf will kill here, but you need to be careful. Every single percent they put on Myron makes him just a little more strong. Can he get the final kill? The up smash, not quite. He's oh. pushing on the shield. He ran far into his face. And that's one of those new mechanics. You do not run through. Oh, what the up there. Up there. Wow. Going to close out stock one. Myra not game expecting one. that up there, but Dyer, cool, calm, and collected, taking game one. A lot of Still very impressed by seeing his knowledge of this matchup, given that he switched to Wolf. Uh, Met so recently, I would say. He, about, say he, about a month now. He, he started playing this game as Inkling, but I guess uh, seeing that Inkling wasn't really doing it for him, tried to switch off. But we've seen some success now, especially with Cosmos playing Inkling. No huge wins yet in tournaments, but when the game first came out, we thought Inkling was the best character, but now that seems to be 
quite shifted in favor of Pichu, Peach, and maybe even Wolf. I stand by the fact that I believe Inkling was overrated because of the length of Roller Berry online. People had a really difficult time dealing with that, really overhyped the character, and now, as we've seen as mentioned, really only Cosmos with those consistent results. I, I still will say that Inkling Roller, one of the best moves in the entire game, even post-nerf. Very, very incredible usage if you have a character that can do grounding. Gonna be sticking with the same matchup here into game two. Myron switching up the music a little bit mid-set. What, what's the lore behind Wolf having that eye patch? Do you know? What, is there a lore behind Wolf having that eye patch? I'm trying to remember the story of why he has an eye patch. Space pirate. <laughs> Space. Any pirate has an eye patch. Exactly. <laughs> Too much scurvy. So now we're waiting. I think both players are. Now that Myron lost that game one, he sort of has to understand now, you know, which of my aerials, why did I get hit so often when I whiffed those aerials? Was I using too much of throwing Pikmin? Was I not using enough grabs? Or was Dyer simply spacing and using his platform so safely? In any stage he goes to, it, that's definitely Dyer's safe zone. Those platform play is so accurate, and it makes Myron have to overextend beyond this point of comfort. And so far, another top-level representation of this matchup. We've seen Zachary versus DeBuzz a couple times. Wow, great back air from Dyer. Zachary pushing DeBuzz to the Game 5 finish yeah. at Genesis. We're going to see a pretty similar game plan in this where just a lot of patient play and then explosive options from Wolf. And it looks like Myron gets a little flustered oh. when he gets that early kill. He rushes right in, but it cost him because he's already at 56%. And there, once again, last so long. Down smash, good down smash charge. Oh my god, Dyer is on fire! Incredible! Three stock advantage with barely over a minute of play. This is the best I've seen Dyer play all day. Myron looking like his options aren't quite doing what they want. Yeah, this is the early Smash Ultimate Dyer we're seeing here. Yeah. Very confident, very patient play. Fortunately, getting a forward smash kill did not want to deal with that raging wolf anymore. And now Dyer is just doing full hops, waiting for him to shoot out any aerials and getting so much mileage off them. It really seems that that's defined this matchup so far is Dyer's ability to just get away from all of our immediate vertical escape every time. I think the key might not be using the Pikmin here, but rather the small hits, the nares, the up tilts, the, the hits that Allmark can actually do. And right now, a much better stock for Myron. There gets go. a two frame. There we go. And just like that, we have a game, ladies and gentlemen. That it is 1 0 Dyer. Oh. But pivotal in this matchup. Myron so quickly finding his footing in the comeback. He's at 84 now. Great downer to contest it, but now at 99%. Hold on, the up smash barely not killing. All Dyer needs oh, one more of those. God, almost Rod coming alive. exit of the platform to his advantage. Okay, that Nair going through all the Pikmin. How long did Nair last? Hold on, up air. A few more hits and Myron can actually do That's this, it. but the up tilt. What? Wait a minute. No. Oh. Hold on! Myron said, in my, too high. My, Myron said my DI is better than that, producers. He's coming down right here. Wait, wait no way! No wow. way! Purple up smash, that was it away. That was a three-star comeback! <laughs> Myron is not here to play. The crowd evenly split for these two players right now. I mean, that was just, I, I, have, to give, I have to tip my hat right out of Myron. What incredible just keeping his cool, not letting, you know, Dyer's assault get to him. Such good play. And what a potential shift in momentum. Dyer looking dominant in that entirety of game two with Myron snatching victory out of the jaws of defeat. You've got to wonder how that affects the psyche. We've seen both of these players shake their head a couple times mid set, a couple of things looking a little bit iffy to them. We'll really see how this plays out in game three. From the claws of the wolf from Dyer, very, very, he was this close to getting a 2-0 lead against a player of Myron's caliber. And this is the one seed, no less. Yeah. Dyer considered going to be one, obviously one of the top eights here to this tournament, but upsetting number one, knocking him out of the tournament 0-2 on Sunday. What? A claim to fame for Dyer in this early wolf for him. What was was Myron seated first tournament? Yes, he was. Wow. Over MBD, over Salem. His results at Frostbite enough to give yeah. him that respect. I mean, Frostbite really did cement him as uh, as a top player threat in the country. So now we're gonna see right now if he has enough to deal with Dyer's unique wolf play, getting a, a, a pretty good lead here on game one. Dyer might be a little shaken from actually having that comeback on game two. And now, for the first time, Myron takes the first stock lead in the match. Early two. This smaller stage might actually benefit uh, Myron more than we see uh, Dyer here, able to really control a lot of space. That back air barely missing. 
See, there's a jab. Uh, Gonna get the reverse grab uh, there. Moving past Wolf, but the Pikmin's lagging behind. This is Myron's comfort zone. He says, you're gonna come right to me. My Pikmin will do the work for me. Fall right into my lap. See the dash deck there. Gonna pop Myron up. See how he continues this pressure here. And I actually don't even mind. Like, you can keep throwing out the up smash because it has such a big hitbox to the sides that eventually one might hit. That actually, that dash deck almost killed him. And the Nair won't quite do it, even with a red flaming blast hitbox. Okay, missing that down air. Forward throw, or down throw, not gonna kill. Yeah, gonna push him further off stage. Oh, oh. I mean, making me eat my words. <laughs> it did Where kill, did but from an S. Go. All right, we're looking at 63% right now on Dyer, but we've seen him play so patient and so calm with his wolf, really just not over committing to anything. Oh, almost gets the forward smash there. Myron is definitely a burst player, right? He can take like two stocks like with no problem at all. But then every once in a while, that's the second uh, SD we have to see from him in this tournament. This is really scary right now. Down smash probably close enough to finish it out. The forward smash potentially too. You have to pick your options so carefully in this game. Now the up B. Blaster. Oh, the purple Pikmin covering the jump this time. Myron starting to really con consider those yeah. jump out of shields. I think we're gonna try to see Dyer go for an all nothing down smash right here, because it will kill. But aiming it, ooh, the two frame just missing, the up air actually killing, not even with the purple, that was a blue up air. I was to say, I'm not sure about the DI on that. But 100%, Olimar is susceptible to death pretty soon, if he's gonna have to get a good, decent reach wow. and a drop back air. Myron landed a back air behind Dyer, but Dyer with his own back air responding, actually getting the kill. This is dead even. One match apiece, one stock apiece. I feel like this stock may actually decide this set. I agree, I think whoever gets this is uh, most likely. In fact, given how momentum goes, I think whoever gets this stock might win with a 3-1, to be honest. And so many Pikmin right now coming out. Gonna be Dyer trying to recover, gets on with a forward air. Forward air again, wait a minute, no way! Oh, no gonna... way! Now that up B with the huge hitbox at the top of that, saving him there. That was... Gotten the double dip down air though. That was almost nutty. Forward throwing out from Dyer. That near hitting the Pikmin, but that's not what he wants to say. He wants to hit Almar. He's going for the down smash, it misses! He hasn't been able to connect with that in this game three. It really has closed out so many early oh, stocks. Wow, one, the red decent. Ah, 120 for Dyer. The down is Perry. Oh my gosh. And that will kill Myron taking a 2 1 lead as a response to Dyer dropping his three stock advantage on game two. Uh, a completely different set in this universe, at least. I can't believe just how much momentum he picked up. The huge pendulum continues to swing in Myron's favor. All right, Dyer now needs to stay calm and collected. Can't tilt here. Tilt is the last thing you want to do on a seat this hot. Absolutely no consideration. Immediately running it back to Smashville here. But will we see a character change? Pausing at the CSS. Dyer has an inkling. I believe he has a daisy as well. But he's going to stick to his guns, go with the wolf. He, he said, you know what? I almost three stalked this guy with wolf. I just got to know what I'm doing. Shaking his head a little bit. This is all but doable for both players. Outside of game one, this has been a very close set. It really has. A couple of options here or there. This could have been a 3-0 in Dyer's favor. He has to keep closure. <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay, that up B, he was mistiming it a little bit, trying to get uh, around Wolf's down air, and he did it su um, successfully. But still now, way, way percent disadvantage, 71. That's the beauty of that neutral B for Olimar, able to pluck Pikmin so quickly and able to act out of it just like Whoa! That. Dyer opening up this match just like he did game two. This is a Dyer that's more comfy. This is the confidence we need to see from both players. Only double snowman on Dyer right now, 8.8. .8. Wow, dash attack, oh my. He's only been hit once the entire game. Is he gonna get another no way. stock? Is he gonna get another stock? He might. Dyer is playing like a madman right now. Back throw. We'll see what happens. All right. No blaster play. He's... Oh! That's going to be safe there. on shield, too. We're going to wait right here. Up air, lower, but not enough. One more will kill. Great use of the whistle. The iron armor on the whistle. Using by Myron. Downer. And holy my goodness. Dyer was on his tournament stock. Talk or tournament life for this match. Composure only 32%. Taking both stocks from Myron. Still to get a little yeah. bit of damage here. 84 gonna right, close wait, out wait. that stock with a purple left smash. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> Will this happen again? Can he repeat the script from game two? Will we see Dyer flip it? 
It's just another than the office for Myron. A shield break, actually, but attacked him a little too soon. If all else fails, smash oh! the beast up. So low! Can he will, he, will he commit? No, just the down tilt. It's so hard to land that second downer on that up B. It's such a slow moving one. Another nair. Continue oh, wait. pressure. Back here, barely missing the up smash. And now Myron at kill percent. Next hit kills for Dyer. I call the 3-1, but it looks like I'll be sadly mistaken here as Dyer is one hit away from entering another game five of this tournament. Oh! Nair fall down to shield. Beating out the initial startup of the up smash, but Myron's still in such a difficult position. 169. Oh my and god. What below. is that hitbox? You can angle that below ledge, and you saw the hurt box extension from Myron on the up getting caught by the final hits of those claws. Very stressful match for both players right here. This would be one of the biggest wins of Dyer's career at this point if he's able to close out this game five. Central Florida versus Southwest Florida, making sure. Crowd, what do you think? Is Myron going to take game five? And or is CFL going to smack this down? Who we got? I think at this point, staying the same characters. No switching here unless a gigantic gamble comes into play. I almost saw Piranha Plant. I was like, OK, maybe not. Maybe not the plant. How many game fives? I think this is our fourth game five. Yes, and Dyer with back-to-back -back game five. The strong mentality over a long career built up over four, allowing him to progress over into ultimate with no fatigue. I know we say the pun a lot, but he, he really did come back from Dyer straights there. After that, come back with a three stock, and then once again, figuring out how to almost get another three stock. Now, he doesn't have any platforms to reset to now. I'm going to be FT is really interesting. This can go either direction. It's incredible what Wolf can do with one grab. He do down throw dash attack into an aerial, which almost led to a spike. Here's the cover. Myron's chasing him down with just throwing Pikmin, keeping it very, very simple. He's trying to figure out, what did I do so well in that comeback? What, did, what was I doing much more importantly? This is what's difficult for Myron. Typically, Olimar wins the mid-stage gameplay, but Wolf's blaster so strong. Notice how Myron there didn't go for a down smash, but rather the down tilt. Easier to two-frame with, and he oh, pulls the up. Nair. Oh my gosh, they both try to clank a strong smash down the down air. And right there, a tag! And the huge upbeat, knocking Myron away, taking away his stage control. So impressed by Dyer, a parry, missing, wow! These players are now at their peak of technical ability. They both want this first stock. Oh, blue! And a forward wow. will do it, that blue is just so strong. Now waiting in right here, shield pressure. Dyer looking to get an early kill here. Doesn't want to deal with so much percent tacked on. He's got to, because My Myron's going to be able to add so much if he gets that initial hit. There's the white Pikmin. He's got to get it off of him. Got him off. Only 10% so far for Dyer. Shooting the yellow. Can he get the kill, though? Oh, waiting for the up tilt. And what an aggressive landing option for Myron. No fear. That's the thing. You can't be desperate for a kill here. Oh, you this be is aware. bad. Aware, but not desperate. Still low percent for Dyer, playing it smart. Double it purple, safe. so Whiff much potential damage. Whiffing down smash, avoiding those purples, looking like Mega Man 2 right now. You have to be so careful choosing your options. Myron tanking right now, 148. And this is really the first time we've seen him do this. Oh. Dyer was able to close out Ooh. so many early stocks. The up up beat kill? kill? It's so good. My it's so God. good. All right, that's exactly what Dyer needed right here. Myron still already getting his opponents at 85%. Will that be a kill? Will that be a kill? He's gonna have Off to side the stage. Oh my gosh. Oh. A full man. stop. Dyer now on his last stock on his of ultimate stock. gamer. Oh wow. Down throw dash attack forward air. Or forward smash rather. Oh, up smash. Big damage potential here. But Myron's saying, you think you got percent? I got percent for you. Finally gets the blue Pikmin off, but only after taking 50%. Oh, th this is a bad spot right now for Dyer. He needs to get some hard read here. Needs to even this out as soon as possible. Okay. Full hopping in place, getting a grab, down throw. Gonna get laser, forces him to take it. Oh, jump. dash attack, not quite gonna kill. I love his use of the laser there. Oh no! The middle options, but taking another up smash. 84% on Dyer, and so dangerous. And it up looks smash like, again. wow, Myron's patience is so unmatched at this point. He's going for on shield attack. Dash attack still not killing for Dyer. That's Hold on! Enough. We have a last stock game five. Dyer has to play so careful right now. Could you imagine this comeback? Oh, the pop pop is going to Oh my goodness. I think either player is going to just launch out of their chair. I, I couldn't even imagine. Forward air. Hold oh, on. Calls Wait the whistle. a second. Calls the whistle. Oh. Oh. That, oh, oh he gosh. gets the grab with the blue. That's going to be and it. that will end it. Dyer disappointed. And Such. that's the coverage of Olimar. Yes. You saw him rush the shield 
with the danger of the up smash holding Dyer longer and longer, but the blue Pikmin in place closes out 